hey hi hello welcome back to my video this sampati watching sampat samfx youtube channel and this is poco x3 custom rom reviews this is miui edition guys you can see miui 14.0.5 china based edition i'll give in the description the download link flash the rom it's quite simple you can watch my shorts video to flash the rom and if I go into detailed info here, it recognizes as POCO X NFC and Android version is 13 here. As you can see, that's the Android version. And if I go into again the MIU version 14.0.5.0, as I said before, and baseband version, you can read it out 4.14.1 and 0 puff Surya kernel. This is the kernel version, hardware version V1. First thing you should do once you flash into ROM, go to display and select here, refresh rate and select this custom and select refresh rate to 120. It will be smooth. If you want to keep it recommended default, it will be dynamically adjust the refresh rate as I shown here. But I recommend to keep it to 120 Hz. You will feel the smoothness in the way. It's not uh, going to make any huge difference in terms of battery life. Just do it out. And again, there will be no Google Apps and Google Play services available in this ROM. You should use this Get Apps application. If possible, I will give it in the description. If not, you can search it out in the Chrome. You might get a Get Apps version. Manually install that in the security settings. Let me show you. Uh, you will get uh, some options to install the ROMs. Go into Safe Mode and install the Get Apps. Later, everything will be installed from uh, get apps itself and if i go into like this like screenshots i want to show you the cpu throttling test first you can see from last five minutes and one milliseconds i have been running the cpu throttling test the maximum is 185 the average is 180 minimum is 141 million jps and it's throttle to 95 percent of its max performance and it's in balance mode if you use performance mode might get a little bit boost in performance but there will be a little bit throttling if you use battery saving mode there will be a lot more throttling but maximum score will be minimum and uh, one more thing is like this you get options once you use the gallery applications like high quality and originals you can keep whatever you want first time once you open the gallery you get those options and this was i was speaking about basic google services it's simply you get options in the quick settings uh, i mean the notification toggle later if i enable that it's still not going to install any google apps and even usb debugging is turned off still i can't able to open this pubg new state game as you can see it opens this file i don't know what's the problem and i have like 100 mps fiber connection and it's pulling up to 84 mps which is fine in my open the ui is really really smooth even if you get me 14 global edition update that's not going to be this smooth that you need to keep in mind that's why it's really cool and even this one direct twitter call feature and this is a proper media dialer you get call recording feature also that will not announce that other person you're recording the call that's good thing and this is a quick settings and notification and this is control center you get new style if i go into edit again there are some options as you can see if you want you can drag and edit them nothing fancy now moving into settings as you can see this is a proper miui 14.0.5 now wallpapers and personalization here you get plenty of wallpapers again and lock screen layout and owner information you can add here icons you can adjust that library if i go into here my wallpapers no the here mere 14 wallpapers has been given if you want you can keep among them and the other settings are remain same sound and vibration again you get plenty of options sound effects has been given that's always present here profile video for incoming calls also given here this is fine in my opinion always on display just enable that and sleep one minute and double tap to wake a screen of wave and rush to wake wallpaper carousel disable that and uh, these things you can do it out and uh, notification and control center notification shade kept to android here if you want you can keep it to miui and notification effect is simply disabled because of x3 nfc 
and home screen you get plenty of customization previously i made something regarding this so memory status arrange items and recent horizontals verticals has been given and system navigation again if you want you can go back to traditional buttons animation speed three options has been given app vault and home screen these are all the options you get nothing new but it's an app mayor 14 proper custom rom fingerprint face unlock and screen unlock has been given here and fingerprint unlock let's move into that and press you get touch option also and face unlock has been given now check this out guys the face unlock later the fingerprint unlock i will show you as you can see it's very quick to unlock your smartphone using the face unlock and fingerprint unlock also very very quick in my opinion it's a very good ROM and widgets you get simple here nothing like the pets and all those kind of widgets hasn't enabled it in this particular ROM that's how it is you need to understand this and the magic app will be pre-installed if you flash magic then the app will be pre-installed here just uninstall that every reboot you get a option to uninstall that and that's it i don't find any problems here it's really smooth if you are looking for a mi 14 based roms for poco x slash nfc then this is the rom i can blindly suggest and there are some conditions as i said before you need to use get apps like applications or any uh, play store like application you can use it as a main uh, app downloading option here then it will be fine because of no google play services it's really really smooth and you can expect very good battery life also here as you can see and in performance mode you might get very good performance also i want to show that gaming mode but for some reason the new state hasn't got here and safety net status let's check out get failed here okay because of the magic as i said and DRM information again you get level one certification you can use all the audit applications in high definition resolution that's not the problem here and yes it's very good use the magic model and make some improvements here but overall experience of the rom is really really good as you can see keep it 120 as i said before and that's it I haven't faced any options or sorry any problems or anything like that and battery life is also really good with 120 hertz set to 120 hertz it's really good all the basic things are also very good this is something like different if you don't want to use google apps then you can switch to this particular rom based on mi 14 it is and android 13 really really smooth you should try this kind of roms for poco x3 uh, We'll meet you with another interesting video guys until that keep smelling before that subscribe my channel and hit that like button and also allow that bell notification in order to get similar kind of videos first to you thank you for watching we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smelling bye bye for now